Good morning. It is Sunday morning and I am going live again. I have been up since six in the clock, six o'clock in the morning studying as usual. And um, I realized that today would be an excellent day and an excellent morning to go back to the foundation of what is this all about? What is what is finding fearless ambition all about? Why did I why did I start this group? Why did I write this book? What, what is it that I'm all about, that I'm obsessed, that I know to be fundamentally true about the world that I want to share with all of you? So my personal why for doing this is because I learned a long time ago that we create our own reality. I'm sure that most of you are familiar with the um, movie The Secret. And um, I think that The Secret has been a wonderful movie and a wonderful starting point in many, many people's spirituality. And it certainly was for me um, a great entry point. There was a lot of things that I felt like I couldn't understand. And it's been through my own personal obsession of wanting to understand the parts that I, I didn't understand. So like, for example, if we are creating our own reality, then um, why did I have the certain reality that I had? Why was I creating the certain um, things in my life? And of course, I'm talking about the things that I didn't necessarily want. Like, um, how did I end up with the wrong choice in a partner? Um, uh, how did I, uh, end up with any, any sort of whatever the obstacles and problems in my life were, and what could I spe do specifically to address those things and make a change for the better? And so I went on a quest for literally the next, um, I'm going to say 12 years to learn everything that I have learned. I started a, a mastermind group. I, I wanted to expedite my learning. So I went to like-minded friends and asked if they would be interested in, um, and learning and they were so that was also a huge help so I want to start with the simplest way that I know how to explain this to you and this is largely what I um, am teaching you in the book that I that's coming out soon so that is that um, free will and free will the power of now and getting in alignment. So these were the things that confused me the most. And what I have learned now is that we actually create our reality. We build our world like an inner architect with everything, everything we do. So everything communicates, everything builds, every choice that we make, every action we take, every thought we have, every all of our feelings inside of us are literally constructing the world around us moment by moment. And you might think, well, Mary, that's great, but um, I don't have any control over those things. And so the easiest way that I have found in order to take control over that construction part of building your reality is to understand that in the moment to moment, this is the power of now. In the moment to moment decisions and choices that you are making, that is where all of your power lies. And um, in 2005, I got involved in the world of Tony Robbins. And at the first event that I went to called Unleash the Power Within, um, not only do you learn how to be a firewalker, but one of the things on the last day that he talks about is... Um, he want, it's, a, it's kind of like a health and wellness day. So you're going to talk about um, diet, nutrition, exercise, you know, and he had a really great way of explaining it, which was that everything you put in your mouth is going to either cleanse or clog you. So 
what this means is if I eat an apple, is that going to cleanse me or clog me? Obviously, it's going to cleanse. If I eat a piece of chocolate cake, that is obviously a clog. And so the goal here is that you want to be making cleansing choices 80% of the time. And then 20% of the time, you can still have your coffee and your chocolate cake. So that's really awesome, and it's really easy. And it's and it's honestly, um, in most of my adult life, it's been the only diet that I have uh, ever followed. And I'm pretty much the same weight that I was in high school. You know, like I might go up or down 10 pounds, whatever. But what if we take that principle of cleanser clog and we apply it to every area of our life so what this means is in your finances what are you doing to cleanse or clog your finances in your career what are you doing to cleanse or clog your your career in your relationships in your spirituality in your self-care um, all of these things in your personal growth you know what are you feeding your mind with are you feeding your mind with cleansing things or clogging things? So once I figured this out, it was like, wow, you know, we, we talk about, we talk about creating our reality and it seems really complicated, but if I can teach you a simple way to start changing the reality that you're creating right now and teach you in like, so that in a split second, you can make pivots because that's what it's about. It's just like these small little shifts because decisions that you make now that might just be a two millimeter difference 10 years from now equals a completely different life. And I, I just love knowing that that is absolutely fundamentally true um, in, in, in not just some of the time, all of the time. So if we think about um, some really easy ways to do this, because the truth is that every choice you make either connects you, it either creates a connection to that dream and goal that you want, or it drives a disconnection. So whether your goal is to build a business, whether your goal is to lose 40 pounds, whether your goal is to find that amazing relationship, whether your goal is to, to write a book, to create a retreat, whether it is to move, it, whether if your goal is to, I want to move to uh, the West Coast, whatever your goal is, your choices have to be in alignment. So this takes me to the other thing I was always super confused about. What in the heck does getting in alignment mean? Getting in alignment means when you get your thoughts, your feelings, your words, and your actions all moving in the direction of the thing that you want. So we, if you, if my goal, and at one point my goal was and still is now, was to write a book. And now I'm writing my second book. And um, the first two years that I had that goal, I didn't write anything. So nothing I was doing was connecting me to that dream. But the moment that I turned it around, the moment that I decided with intensity that I was going to make this book happen, and I understood that I had to take action every day in that direction, that is creating connection. That's creating connection with that dream. And all of the other things that I was doing was driving disconnection. So like talking about, oh, I can't be a writer, or I'm too busy, or I have this this business to run. And so that's what I wanted to share with you this morning. Um, super quick and easy. The I am working on developing this more and more so that I can understand my personal why of what it is that I want to share with you. None of this is new stuff. Um, this has been around. Uh, this has been around in all in all, in all of time, you know, maybe it's been suppressed information, but it's always been there and it's always been accessible. I think that one of the challenges that we face in today's world is that we, we um, don't have the, um, we don't have the traditional storytelling, but what we do have is so much better than that because we have access to all the information um, that, that exists now and that has ever been. 
So some of the ways that I have learned this was um, by reading books, um, just obsessively. I think my Audible list is up to 158 books, so I'm putting together a book list now. So I hope you all have a great morning, and I will be tuning in again soon. Thank you. Hey, this is Mary. Thanks so much for watching. Check out a free chapter of my book, Conscious Communications, at maryshores.com forward slash free chapter. The link is in the description below.